Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Fantasy Foot is ending. We know this promo is ending a couple days earlier than normal. That begs the question, what is next? We kind of know what is next. It's been leaked, and also it just makes sense for the time of the FIFA cycle that we are in. Foot birthday should be our next promo. And what I want to do in today's video is get us ready for the big promo by looking at the market, looking at the upcoming content, and of course, looking back into previous years of foot birthday, especially if this is the first year that you have played FIFA, you got to know how insane foot birthday is. It's one of the most hype promos of the entire year. EA go all out for their birthday. Let's take it that way. So we're going to talk about that in today's video and of course how it's going to impact the market because every single year around this time of the year, usually foot birthday and the surrounding promos create some sort of market drop as some really insane cards are dropping the game. So we're going to take a look at that potential, of course, in the current market climates and look at today's content, what to expect. Could we get a loading screen? Could we get some more leaks potentially for the end of the foot fantasy promo heading into foot birthday? So a lot going on in this game right now. If you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. And again, thank you guys for all the support in the videos this year. Recently, I don't say this enough and I need to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. So Let's dive in firstly by looking back to yesterday's a little bit of a content overview from yesterday because yesterday we got surprised with a couple of SBCs we didn't really expect. It's been a theme recently. EA has been releasing these cheaper gamble packs now. The past two days, Sunday and Monday, we had a mixed campaign player pick, right? And the 83 times 10 yesterday, which was an 82 and an 84 squad, not a very expensive SBC and one that a lot of people are going to go ahead and do, whether it's to open during the Fantasy Foot promo right now with the heroes and with the fantasy cards we have in packs, or to save it for Foot Birthday. There's a lot of value in this, especially because you get to do one every single day. You can see that countdown timer is going to count down until today at the content time. And a, one way that it's really, really doable is by crafting these 78 plus triples. I think this upgrade pack SBC is really, really good value. It's basically the same as last week, except instead of just choosing one out of the three players in that 78 plus player pick, you get to take all three players home with you and it's only 10 golds instead of 11, right? You can look at it that way. This is great value. I've had so many great pulls. You just get a lot of 83s, 84s, even 82s, right? But those are very useful for crafting the 82 or the 83 times 10 and crafting a lot of these cheaper SBCs that we have released, right? Dante is really cheap. I did the Lima SBC yesterday. Mario Gomez is only 100,000 coins. That's pretty cheap to do. Yesterday as well, we had the Angel Gomez, uh, Manchester United past and present. Uh, a lot of people have been putting this guy in their club or in their team. It's so cheap to do. Uh, it, it's kind of a must complete if you're, if you're opening upgrade packs this week because this card also has some pretty good alternate positions, some pretty good stats in game, looking like a very meta left stick dribbler, right? Five foot six with really good player traits and really good potential to upgrade. This guy could be in line for a plus two or a plus three in the coming month as these fantasy upgrades take place. So yesterday's content was actually a W in my opinion. It was not content that we know would cause a lot of panic or a lot of crashes on the market. But a lot of these SBCs uh, are pretty good value, right? The Even the pack supply SBC we had yesterday, right? The only SBC that's downvoted is this 83 times 10. And in my opinion, the 83 times 10, like, yeah, people downvote this, but we know that basically everybody is going to be doing it. And again, like I mentioned, with the 78 plus triple that is out, it is so, so craftable at this time. Now, one tip that I'll give you guys, if you're doing 78 plus triple upgrades and if you're trying to craft SBCs this week, I would try to front load your crafting because as we go on throughout the week, these gold commons we've seen in the past couple of weeks, they just keep rising up every single day that we go on. They're 500 coins right now a piece. By the end of last week when the 78 plus player pick was out, they were they were up to like 650 coins, right? So I would say if you're going to do a lot of those upgrades, make sure you kind of stack them on the front end. You will pay less for the golds than you will later on in the week, um, especially if you want to stack any of those for like foot birthday promo that is upcoming if we start to get news, information, leaks, and the like. So that was yesterday's content. The market did very, very well yesterday, and we'll talk about how maybe that could change the outcome of this game a little bit with the foot birthday promo. Let's dive right into that because we have a lot to talk about with foot birthday. Now, this promo has already been technically leaked. Foot Sheriff tweeted about it about a week ago. He said, Foot Birthday is confirmed after the next promo, Fantasy Foot 2, right? We knew we had a team two of Fantasy Foot, 
And this is kind of like a duh type of moment, right? If you saw a lot of the videos, we knew this was going to be coming. We talked about it. And even on stream, we reacted to this as well. We're like, we kind of knew that foot birthday was going to be coming. It comes every single year into the mid to the latter part of March because EA's birthday, FIFA Ultimate Team's birthday is, I believe, March 19th. So it's this upcoming weekend, the actual birthday for FIFA Ultimate Team. And they always go all out for this promo. Again, like I said, I've been comparing this promo on stream to Winter Wild Cards. This is kind of like like the winter wild cards of the spring on FIFA kind of taking us, you know how we have winter wild cards before a team of the year. This is like that sort of promo before a team of the season, which is going to be in another like month and a half or so from now. Foot birthday is always a banger promo. All right. It always is. Now, the only things we know so far is that it's coming and you know what to expect because the previous years in foot birthday have actually been a lot more similar than you maybe would have realized. This is the team one from last year's foot birthday team, Cristiano Ronaldo though, right? With the five-star, five-star, Suarez of the five-star skill moves. You notice they have all these five-star skill mover weak foot upgrades. That is because in the past two years, FIFA 22 and FIFA 21, the big part of the promo of foot birthday has always been the five-star boost. Some card had skill move and weak foot upgrades. Most of them just had one or the other. Remember the Danny Alves that we had last year? The Fakir card? Last year, there was a really, really nice promo team in packs. And if we take a look back at some of the older years on FIFA, taking you kind of down memory lane, I mean, who can forget some of these legendary foot birthday cards? The foot birthday Mbappe that was more overpowered and more expensive than the team of the year back in FIFA 20. This Rashford card was absolutely insane. This Sissoko with the five-star weak foot. Um, this Hazard card, Griezmann. Like, th these guys, these teams, so unbelievable. Yeah, you, co of course, have your cheaper cards that are in there, but the middle to the top tier on these promo teams. If you look at these stats as well, look how many stats are in the 90s. Griezmann, 91 shooting, 90 passing, 92 dribble. Hazard with 90s in every stat, but defense and physical. This is a promo that also bumps the power curve every single year. Look at last year's stats, right? Fakir with 90 pace, 93 dribbling. This Lukas Paqueta with basically all club 80 stats and 80 defense, but the, his lowest stat other than that 80 defense was 86 pace. That was a very, very overpowered Lukas Paqueta. So this is a promo that always boosts the power curve. Even go back to FIFA 19. This is when foot birthday really got insane. We had Mbappe, we had Bale, Griezmann, uh, Sané with 99 pace, Aubameyang right wing, Salah left back, Marcelo right mid, Van Dijk striker, right? This was a crazy promo back then. Foot birthday is always a good promo. I even remember this uh, foot birthday team. Um, I had a crazy snipe on this foot birthday Ronaldo way back when, and I loved this Gareth Bale left back card. So foot birthday is always a banging promo. That's besides the point. It always is. Now, one of the things that they do, you know, this year and last year, the swaps programs really started to get popular and EA Sports really loves them. We love them too, right? Kind of goes hand in hand. We're expecting a swaps program with this promo as well, not just because it's been leaked by this kind of fraud leaker. He leaked some uh, very fraudulent cards last week that did not get dropped. Take this with a pinch of salt, of course, but I think he's going to end up being right because EA oftentimes repeat swaps programs like we had one last year during Winter Wild Cards. We had one this year during Winter Wild Cards. Same thing with Future Stars. I would expect to see a swaps program during foot birthday as well. Last year, it was a, it was a short one, right? Um, it was between March 4th and March 18th. You could earn up to 24 tokens, and then you could you could turn in the uh, tokens in game during that kind of short, like two week window, basically. So it was kind of like uh, the future star swaps, pretty short window. It was nothing at all like the World Cup swaps program that was you know so long. So this one's probably going to be very similar to last year, you know, like 20 to 30 tokens, you know, and have some packs, have some players in there. You know, that we had a foot birthday team one player pick, a foot, foot birthday team one pack, right? So it was a pretty good swaps program last year. The other good thing we had was a uh, login bonus, right? We, I don't know if we've had any of those this year, maybe one. But that was something that we had a part of last year's promo as well. And then a lot of SBCs and objective players uh, with the five-star skill move or weak foot upgrade. Again, that's the biggest part about foot birthday. And that's one of the things that just makes the power curve on this game just kind of go up a little bit. Because when you start releasing all of these cards on FIFA that have a five-star weak foot or a five-star skill move boost, yeah, then that makes some of the other cards that don't or maybe are lacking some of those boosts a little bit less relevant because those are some of the biggest boosts you can give any card in this game is that weak foot or the skill move it just takes cards to a whole nother level so 
full birthday on this game. It's coming soon. We don't know about any official announcements. I do think there's a potential for an official announcement today. Now, I will show you again that card design that we had. This is the official card design, and this was actually put into the code in like November. So we have known this card design is the actual full birthday card design for a while. So if you've seen it floating around, it's not a concept. Um, according to the code, which was foot scoreboard leaked this literally in November. This is legit. I know for some people they don't like it because it looks kind of maybe childish, if you will. Um, but it, it also looks fun. You know, the balloons, the foot, you know, the sprinkles, the frosting, whatever. So I think it's pretty fun. Is it a bit different than foot birthday designs of like last year? Yes. Last year was all about the 13, right? Because it was FIFA Ultimate Team's 13th birthday. This year is going to be the 14th birthday of FIFA Ultimate Team. So it doesn't look like that is incorporated at all into this here. But it's very festive for a birthday, uh, of course, with that car design there. So that's kind of all the news around foot birthday for right now. Let's talk about the market. How is this going to impact the market? Well, we've already mentioned it, right? It impacts the market on some level, just because we have very, very meta cards that are dropping on this game. And when new meta cards come in, old meta cards tend to drop off. Now, where we are currently on this game, again, we know the market's been down a little bit since the end of February, since the start of the fantasy promo, pretty, car pretty good cards released. We had two live card promos back to back and the market was just crazy high after team of the year i think we are due some more correction because as we start to have more road to the final upgrades and we start to have fantasy upgrades in the next couple of weeks and as we start to have promos like this foot birthday really increase the power curve some of your cards from maybe like path to glory or future stars or maybe even uh some other recent promos maybe some of the road to the final cards that don't get upgraded or maybe even winter wild cards that you guys still might be using in your team these uh, sort of cards might slowly start behind starting starting to fall behind the power curve just because these new cards get boosted so much five star skill move five star weak foot upgrades people want to upgrade above that with all the new cards that are coming out so that's where i feel like this market has potential to drop and i mean if we take a look at some examples from last year there was a lot of market drop that happened in March. If we take a look at examples year over year as well, March is just a month where usually prices fall off a lot. Take a look at Golden Bappe last year. Last year, a full birthday was like a little bit earlier than normal. And Bappe was 800,000 coins, pretty similar to what he is right now. Last year in March, full birthday started right here, I believe on the 4th of March, 3rd of March. He went down in price there in that first weekend. And then he absolutely dropped a ton during the second week of full birthday. I think there was a player of the month SBC that was involved in here as well, which actually might be a good representation of how things could go this year. If Mbappe wins the player of the month SBC, which should be leaked or announced here in the next couple of days, uh, we could see an Mbappe price graph that looks a lot like this here soon. If he wins another player of the month and depending on how good that SBC value is, you never know. So big drop offs there. And then just one other random card last year that I remember dropping off a lot was look at this card at the beginning of March, 900 K for the Ferran Torres right wing. Where do we go by the end of foot birthday? All the way down to 670,000 coins. Pretty big drop off on a really rare card. If you guys remember this card last year was really rare. And you look at those stats, pretty meta as well. He dropped off a lot during the foot birthday promo. Um, and that's just something that you saw a lot of last year around this time with these cards on this game. Now, usually the cards that drop during foot birthday, they're not super cheap. They don't have like a crazy cheap pack. Wait, I remember this Suarez. Where's Suarez in team one? Suarez was pretty expensive. He was over a million coins or around a million coins. Tony Cruz had a pretty decent price tag on him. Nuno Menge. Compare this Nuno Menge uh, to the one that we have in FIFA right now. 95 pace, which is the same, but like 89 defense. I'm pretty sure that Nuno Menge wrote to the final that we have right now in this game has like... 80 defense if that doesn't tell you where the power curve has potential to be 81 defense 80 physical and 84 dribbling of course this is a live card that ea probably expected to maybe get some upgrades but of course it didn't but you compare this card last year with five star skills to this card of this year and it's like no comparison except for the pace right the, the dribbling defense physical and passing stats on the Nuno Menge last year are way way higher so that's my basis for thinking that the market does have potential to drop off now the question is when is this going to start happening? Because right now, I mean, yeah, we know Foot Birthday is coming and we're talking about it and stuff like that. But is there going to be panic selling like starting today? I really don't know if it's going to start to be like a crazy panic sell off today. One of the things we will be looking out for in the short term 
to start learning about foot birthday and to start uh, spreading, you know, the hype of that promo upcoming, how does EA do that oftentimes, right? A loading screen. I think it's very possible that we could, it's not a guarantee, but we could get a loading screen today because Tuesdays when EA really want to create hype for a promo, we've seen it this year. Tuesdays are kind of their early days now to drop a loading screen. It'll probably, if we get one, just be a card design showing us, of course, that foot birthday is upcoming. Um, and other than that, you know, leaks, right? We always look for leaks and we always expect the leaks. Of course, when it comes to leaks this year, it comes down to if cards are posted with expected stats or predicted stats, right? Because then you never know if it's if it's predicted stats then you're like, okay, this card could be really cracked or, you know, it's like, okay, I, I, got, I don't know what this card's going to look like because it's predicted, right? But what we start to see with leaks is we start to see if there's players that are posted in the leaks, we start to see, of course, how big the names are that are going to be released in this promo. And the fantasy foot promos, if we take a look at these two teams and the cards that we have, you know, there are some pretty big names in here, but you know, there aren't really like massive names. And I feel like in foot fantasy, even in road to the final, we had some big names in road to the final, but even, you know, future stars, we had some nice names there. I, it's been a while since we've had a promo that is just like big name FIFA meta players that people often complain about, get too many promo cards every single year. The last two weeks of foot fantasy, we have gotten players that haven't had many promo cards, if not any at all. And these are live and upgrading cards. We'll talk about these a little bit more. Um, in terms of the market and stuff going on. But I just feel like this foot birthday promo this year is going to be like previous years where we got big name players with nice boosts and that could also impact the market. And it, again, we're going to start to see that with the leaks, right? We will get leaks. I'm sure of that. I don't know when, but I would assume that those could be coming really soon. And of course, those are going to impact the market. So loading screen potential today, that could be a part of our content. And uh, that could just get people starting to think about for birthday. Now, in relation specifically to these fantasy foot cards, a lot of them are going up. And it's a very interesting scenario this year where these cards are live um, and they're upgrading and their upgrades start happening this weekend, which is the exact same time that foot birthday starts, right? Now, last year it was different. These cards were released after foot birthday was over. That was when we had the fantasy promo last year. So I do believe this year is different. And I still think that these cards are ones to keep a close eye on. And since we don't have the impending threat of foot birthday known to most right now in this game, especially with these cards going out of packs uh, tomorrow on Wednesday, a lot of these cards are flying. I bought Emery Chan yesterday, as I mentioned in the video, I was looking at him for like 230. I bought three of them at like 238 to 240. I sold them at 270 to 280. He is all the way up at 290,000 coins. Eden Hazard is up in value. And since these cards are live and they're in packs for a short amount of time, people are starting to invest in these because of course they go out of packs pretty soon. If there is gonna be panic, I think the panic would still impact fantasy foot cards and it would impact road to the finals, but it, it's gonna depend on the severity of the panic. I don't exactly know if you're gonna see all of these cards go down to as low as they were when they were in packs, especially the road to the finals that have been out of packs for multiple weeks now. Alaba is very expensive at 1.55 at the moment, but even for some foot fantasy cards, um, you know, some of these guys like, is, is Emre Chan gonna go all the way back down to 300 or 200,000 coins flat to where he was? at his lowest point when he was he was like 210 right on Saturday I don't think so so if you got this card at like 220 and you're holding on to it I'd maybe just keep holding on to it right so that's where I would look at if you're invested in any of these live cards if you got them at such a low price that it seems almost impossible that they would go back down to where they were then I think I would just keep holding on to a card like that as long as you're okay with holding through the investment because it's not like everything is going to die on this game, right? These are still live cards. Road to the finals are still live cards. They get upgrades. And those will be the first cards that we will look to buy later on this week in the panic if there is a lot of panic. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. I am in the process of getting liquid on a decent amount of my cards just because... I want to keep it safe. I still have my high rated investments with the 91s. There's still a potential for an Mbappe player of the month. But as you can see, I still have my Fofanas. I still have a Goretzka that I'm trying to flip at the moment. I got him for a really good price yesterday. He is up actually about 100K from where I bought him. That's exactly where I'm going to list him right now and hopefully get that sale here in the next hour to take the cash. Uh, I did buy an Upa Meccano at 689 after his price range got updated. We called that in yesterday's video uh, saying that, you know, Monday would be the time when his price would get updated. And it was. EA took forever on that. And then Upa Meccano, you know, guys, I, I believe in this card a little bit but I don't love it. I bought him for 689 to try him out and I might make or break even, right? I might make a couple thousand coins, not much. He is a decent card, 
but there's just a lot of supply on the market and he could rise over time but the way that it looks right now i don't know if i would hold on to this card too much longer especially if you're just trying it out I do, I do believe he will rise up over time as an investment, but maybe there's an opportunity in the next couple of days to get him for a bit cheaper, especially if the leaks about full birthday start to come out and everybody gets excited about that. So that's kind of where I'm feeling and that's where I'm at with the market at this time. Let's talk about more market in terms of SBC fodder, right? We had the 83 times 10 yesterday. This is like right here applicable right now in the moment type of information. 83s are flying, right? 2.5K still going higher just about every single day. 84s had a big boost in price yesterday because of the 83 times 10 pack that was released. These are probably going to go even higher today and maybe even higher tomorrow on Wednesday because we have the refresh of the mixed campaign player pick coming out on Wednesday as well so if you have high low rated fodder i would still keep lazy listing that these these cards could continue to go higher until we get to later on midweek to the end of this week i still think there's more potential there for list for lazies right list your 84s at like six to seven k list your 83s at like three three and a half k you might start to get some sales as people are buying those cards for those sbcs for the high tier side of the market EA's being sneaky. You know what? And I have a little theory here, guys. Look at your 91s. They're still 58, 59K. There's no reason to panic sell these right yet. We still have the potential for a play of the month Mbappe floating around. Um, and who's to say maybe not another icon pack since EA have not dropped one yet. Less potential of that. More potential for an Mbappe player of the month. But they've dropped two cheap SBCs, the 8310 and that campaign player pick, is that EA, knowing that Mbappe has won the award since voting has been closed now, as we looked at in yesterday's video, and uh, is that them like not releasing expensive SBCs because they want to try to make fodder a little bit lower for when they release Mbappe? They kind of did something a little bit similar. Um, remember the last time we got a play of the month Mbappe SBC? Yeah, it was during Team of the Year, right? And they waited to release Team of the Year. They related. They waited to release the Player of the Month Mbappe until the Team of the Year Mbappe was still in packs because EA know whenever they release an Mbappe SBC, even if people have already done the 92. There's so much demand for people to get a player of the month as Mbappe SBC, just any sort of uh, Mbappe SBC, people want to do it. Now, Mbappe's cards are not being panic sold right now. Like, in fact, this card, 4.9 mil, is up a lot. Uh, all of his informs are crazy high in price. His gold card is high. But watch out for today. That's one of the things that I'm very curious to see is if we start to get leaks. I even believe that EA posted um, when the um mbappe was one player of the month last time around so watch out for ea tweets watch out for foot sheriff tweets um and hopefully we start to get some action on that front today in fifa with news building up to foot birthday play the month Mbappe, all of that stuff. So last thing, really quickly, what should we get today on FIFA? We talked about potential for a loading screen, potential for leaks. We might get our last Fantasy Foot SBC. We had Gomez yesterday. We might get Rashika today. That is a leaked SBC. Foot Sheriff posted it yesterday. So I think we'll get Rashika today. The 83 times 10 refresh should also be coming back. We'll be able to do that SBC again. And then uh, like First Owner Fiesta, your usual homegrown 11 games, will probably show up under the... Um, not the objectives tab, under the milestones tab, since the uh, season is ending on this Thursday. So, a couple interesting days coming up in FIFA with fantasy cards going out of packs and also with the beginning of foot birthday starting to come around. Still no boosted packs from EA. Uh, so, again, not entirely sure what's going on there. That's just another kind of mystery still unfolding on this game at the moment. So if you're excited for full birthday, drop a thumbs up on the video today. Comment down below what you're looking forward to most during full birthday or one card you would like to see in this promo. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys today on the Twitch stream. Peace out.